Hey folks, sorry if it's a little loud, this recording. I'm uh, recording in my kitchen and the dishwasher is going, but I wanted to make sure I got this ready for us for tomorrow. So, you need to open the font starter uh, um, file that you downloaded from my website. And the first thing you want to do is go to File, Save As, and make your own version of this. So I'm going to save mine on my desktop and I'm going to call it uh, Thorn Font. And of course it's a .svg. This file is exactly the size it's supposed to be. That's why we've got this special one set up. See this little guideline here? That's where the baseline is of all the letters you're going to make. If you make something like a Y with a descender, that means the part that goes down, then it needs to go underneath here and not, and not go any, not go past this line because this is, as you know, the, uh, the page. You also want to have the align uh, um, dialog box open that will be handy. The most important part is you're going to go over here to text and you're going to get the SVG font editor. So I'm going to click here where it says font one and I'm going to go over here where, the, where it says glyphs. So C glyph one matching string A. This is what I'm going to click for making my A. Now, you can, you can make your letter lots of different ways. Uh, in this demo, I'm going to make mine with, I'm going to make a kind of blocky thing here. I'm going to make a, a rectangle. And then I'm going to take some bites out of the rectangle. Let's see, I think I'll take a bite out of it with the, this tool. So, bye. You're welcome. And if I select this and this, and I'm, I want to, uh, let's see, yeah, that took the little bite out of my A, and I'm going to make a circle in here, and I can make that a different color so we can see where's my uh, where are my colors? It's under objects. Fill and stroke. Here we go. Uh, oh, they're down here. Duh. There we go. Just going to make that a different color. There we go. So I have that selected. And hold down shift and select that also. And get difference again. Oh, there we go. Get difference. There we go my A. It's a little weird looking. Uh, now, uh, I select A, oops, select glyph 1, and I tell it to get curves from selection. There is my A. You'll see it. It's right there. So, I can just take this off the stage and make my B. You know, I'm going to make my B similarly. My B needs to be taller because that's how a B is. And I'm going to take a bite out of that. Again, I'll select them both. And put a round piece in the middle there. And hold down shift. And there, let me change that color there. Just so it fits. Okay. My selection tool, select that, and difference. Aha, there's my B. Uh, I've got it selected. I'm going to choose the B, tell it to get curves from selection. Now you see it hasn't appeared up here because there's no B down here in sample text. We change the sample text to be A and then B. And there's my B. Notice it came out black here. Uh, that's because uh, font doesn't have a color 
it just just as a shape you know we can change the color to be whatever we want so it doesn't matter what colors you choose when you're making this um, and notice I can see you know what I kind of like it I kind of don't I'm gonna go back here and I'm just gonna take another little bite out of it because it doesn't look quite be enough to me I'm gonna take another bite out of it so select like that and that and choose path difference yeah, that looks more bee-like to me. Now, notice it has not changed over here. I've got to tell it, I'm gonna select, oops, select that again. Wait, now I've, got to select, I've got to select that and that. Oops, there we go, that appears to be a selection. See, it just changed. Um, so that is the essential, that's the essentials of the project. Now you've just got, you know, lots of letters to make.